How you doing? Paula Sullivan here, just showing you my latest book, um, A Ramble Around Blessington Lakes, uh, The Aimless Meanderings of an Amateur Photographer. And I have two versions. I have a, a paperback soft copy version here for 15 euro. That's it there. And I have the hardback version. There's not much difference. Do you know, there's not much difference. Uh, this is premium quality paper. And uh, the photos turned out very lovely in it. And uh, the same, the paperback is the same. Really, really lovely. Different kind of images in it and stuff, you know. Anyway, I just want to show you a little bit. This is about my ramblings and meanderings around the lake since 2014 um, to 2020. When I bought a little bridge camera and started practicing mindfulness as well at the same time. And it was just amazing, you know, just going around and seeing the things you wouldn't normally see. Because we're all so stressed out, you know. So just uh, looking for stuff to take photos of, you know. So in this book, I have a little bit of um, history where I could come across it. So like if I took a picture of something in Blessing and I tried to get a little bit of history behind it. So not an awful lot. It's not a history book. It's more a photography book, you know. But if I, if I could, it was just a little bit of interest, you know. It's quite fascinating. And then I have uh, different sections. I have Blessington Lakes. There's the Credit Union House there. I didn't put all I could have put in about that. I'd forgotten. I was in a rush to get the book out, you know. So the next time I print this out, um, I'll probably add to it, you know. Revise it a little bit, you know. So then I have uh, like that me my meanderings, a little bit about that. Uh, different scenes from the lakes on different days. Uh, sunsets. <laughs> I used to be chasing over the hills, getting to Valley knocking and lacking, you know, in time for a sunset, trying to get the, the, the right sunset, you know. And there was many times I get there and the sun had have gone down already, you know what I mean? So, mad, you know, mad adventures around the lakes over the years, you know. And good fun and great crack, you know. And meeting on snowy days, meeting other photographers. We'd be coming and going, trying to get as many shots as we could within the area we could travel in, you know. All sorts of fun going on over the years, you know. So a bit on uh, St. Mark's Cross there and what it used to be called, the history behind that, and then Burgage Tower. And uh, have different photos then, uh, Burgage Tower on different days, a little bit of history about it. Um, let me see, obviously I've showed you, uh, there's Blessington Greenway. Um, just different scenes from that. There's so many different aspects of it, you know. Uh, scenes from uh, the Greenway as you cross the N81. Sorry, <laughs> I always find it hard when I'm doing gamble work. Uh, trying to um, different scenes from uh, different days when you'd be crossing the N81 there. Uh, beautiful scenes from it. Uh, different things you'd see, you know. In that was said, uh, uh, Scarlet Elf Cup was taken. It is called that, isn't it? Yes, it is. I might have, I might have spelled it wrong in the book. I'll have to just double check that. Hang on. Um, it's on. Um, it's on a tree, you'll see it around April time, sometimes in Russellstown, and I caught this picture now in Avon, uh, near the Avon Woods there, um, near Burgage Tower. I think they're belonging to the Avon anyway, I'm not sure. Anyway, but uh, lots of different creatures. Uh, let's just see what else. Oh yeah, the Vikings. So I put that in. In 2015, it was very elusive, nobody knew where they were, you know, so we went searching. I think I spent about an hour wandering around the lakes trying to find them and found them, and my son took that picture of me there. And uh, I took these photos then of the set. Uh, and we didn't harm anything and we didn't take anything, but we just took some photos, you know. And then there was the floods in 2016. I took various different photos around the lakes there of those. And then Russellstown, another beautiful spot on the N81, just opposite uh, the entrance to Rusborough as you go in down that way. And uh, lots of things to see down there and a couple of different options for pathways and walks, you know. And some people are seeing deer down there. I've only caught deer once or twice. Didn't get great shots, you know. But some people have got some amazing pictures of deer down there as well, you know. A uh, picture of uh, ruins. I think it was Russell's Town House originally. Um, uh, Rusborough House. Lots of, a little bit of history there on that as well. And the Hippodrome. And then that's the walled garden there, and then Valley Mount, and uh, they're all very nice to me up in Valley Mount. Um, lovely with the craft fairs and all, lovely people up there, you know, uh, Mark Wright and Kathleen, and Mary and Johnny and Jed, and all of the volunteers and all the crafters, 
we have great fun up there with our craft fairs once a month, you know, Pat Tierney as well, he's running the Kildare Craft Collective. So we have a lovely group of people up there. And the scenery is marvellous as well, the scenery got it in my book, so this is all Valley Mount, you know. And then uh, when the lakes were low, you know, and uh, I took pictures, as many as I could. I hadn't as much time, I'd become a carer at that stage for my son, so I didn't have as much time to be going up the lakes as I did previously, you know. There's rock bottom there, <laughs> as I called it, I thought it looked like the bottom anyway. Um, these are all this when the lakes were low um, all these items were found and the, the local people up there put them on rocks so people could see so I took some photos of them you know different things that were left over the years you know underneath the water you know and then uh, bridges different amazing days reflections just so exciting you know I used to just go out with the camera and just oh, be all, just out an adventure and then uh, wintry days when we had the, the heavy snows and people were trying to go down and get bread and milk and that, you know. So I got a few pictures like that. And then, obviously different scenes, you know, close up of a leaf or something or frozen hogweed or just charming, just beautiful. Good for the soul, you know, good for the soul. Then I did an art uh, versus photography challenge as well. And I, I took a photo, the one on the bottom of the page, and then I did a, a painting based on it, loosely based on it, you know, I'm never exact kind of on it you know colors wouldn't be exact or anything they do different try to make it different you know in some way you know and uh, i'll just show you i've only got through all of it here so these uh i took these photos now these are resource photos these weren't my photos not the ones on the bottom of the page they came from the south dublin libraries archive pages and i got their permission to put them in my book and i did paintings based on them as well you know on those images you know so that's it and then at the end I have recommended reading there's some amazing local history books um, that I got research from um, and many websites that I got research from to get some history as well and you can check out the Blessington bookstore is not there anymore but she has Janet has a wonderful website for local history books and I've included the link there for her as well and she would have supported me in the early years of when I originally published my book first time round you know so um I just have the, a mention of those there as well, you know. So that's the uh, that's the books there, um, available in Blessington Tourist Office. Um, there's a form there. If they don't have them in stock, they'll give me a shout. I have some here, and I'll be ordering more in. And there's a hardback there version as well, and again available on Amazon as well. Um, so uh, check it out anyway. And thanks very much for watching. Thanks to all of you who support me, who purchase items off my stall, who purchase items from the. Um, the Blessington Tourist Office and just let you know that some of these winter scenes have I've put them onto Blessington postcards now as well and they're available in the office shop on Main Street in Blessington and in the tourist office and also on my stall uh, the 31st of uh, October is the next one in Valley Mount Hall uh, County Wicklow and then we've got the 27th and 28th of November in Valley Mount and then the 12th of December in Donard and there might be something else in the meantime and I'll let you know about that you know so, um, and then I'm doing my own range of cards as well that won't be, they'll have the local scenes, but they won't have from Blessington on. So they'll appeal to maybe people who live in other areas as well, you know. So watch this space, you know, see what I get up to next, you know. All right. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for sharing and your support. I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye now. Bye.